Kevin, thanks so much for hopping on with me today. I'm excited to ask you some questions, just kind of talk a little bit about what your experience has been like working with Winter Circle. So just to start off, Kevin, I'd like to talk a little bit about, you know, where you're at in your career, what you do for work, and then like what your, what your degree is in. Yeah, Sam, thanks for reaching out. So I'd say I'm not like the typical person who would join Winter Circle just mm -hmm. based on who I see in the community, right? Like mm -hmm. most of the people you'll see didn't go the intense academic route that I did. Mm -hmm. Like I graduated from, from top 20 university, triple major. Okay. But let me just say, I'm not trying to flex or anything. That really doesn't, doesn't mean much. Otherwise I wouldn't be here, right? Yeah. Otherwise I wouldn't be seeking help. But I'm a software engineer. I work for a defense contractor. There are some issues with that, which is which is uh, why I'm in this program. Yeah. Um, issues with not having enough time, uh, not being able to build up my dreams. You know, mm -hmm. you either um, end up reaching your own goals or you'll be used as a resource to achieve someone else's goals, right? Uh, to, to paraphrase what, what Grant Cardone said. <laughs> yeah. No, I, lo I love that. And, and by no means um, are you flexing or anything. It, I appreciate, like, kind of what you went through, because we do have people who, you know, never went to college or went through, you know, extensive schooling and then still feel like, hey, I'm missing something. I want to go back and like actually get help from Winter Circle and kind of build towards our goals. Because like a lot of people might think, hey, you have the engineering job, like you're making OK money, like you're doing good. Right. But you still felt like there was another level for you to, to take it to. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There is another level. So I guess where where were you before Winter Circle? Like what else had you tried? Had you tried any other courses or training programs or anything before getting started with Winter Circle? Was this the first thing that you tried? This was the first thing, first training that I invested a significant amount of money. And I can tell you, uh, uh, I can tell you why I made the decision, like the pieces of information that, okay. that really confirmed it, right? Because I, I, I wrote all of my hesitations, all of my pros and cons, uh, yeah. weighing the benefits and like to start off with during that call, you know, Sam also, also jumped on, you know, took time out of his own day to get on and talk. So just that degree of uh, personal interaction mm -hmm. that will confirm, that confirms that, that it's, it's real. You know, I could go yeah. on there. There are uh, several other things, you know, down to the, the UI of the website and, and whatnot, <laughs> but just those two things are, are what come to mind. Well, no, I appreciate you you sharing that, Kevin, because, you know, whether it was just the personal touch or whether it was the extensive, like, kind of research and, and digging into you did with the skip tracing or whatever else you, you guys used, you obviously came to a point where you're like, hey, I'm willing to give this a shot. So I guess once you, once you, you went through that, you came into Winter Circle, like you joined the program, you started getting on the coaching balls, going through the training. What did you immediately start seeing? Like, hey, this is this is what I need to fix, this is what I need to start changing. A lot of the stuff in the beginning was stuff that I already sort of knew, right? Just just from from watching videos and such. I think I think the 100 X Bowl challenge was what really pushed me and 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 it, it, it you know it it convinced me that none of this uh, rejection actually matters and. and you know, it, it pushed me to focus a lot more on, on how I present myself, right? Like I started caring a lot more about what I was wearing. So I caring a lot yeah. more about posture, going harder on exercise, right? Because you, like before I would just, I would just uh, slap on a t-shirt, pick whatever was on the top of the, the pile, right? The, things like that. I think that was a, that was a big one. I was just going to say, I don't know, we're not like done yet, right? There's still a lot of stuff that we're going to, we're going to build. Kevin, because like things have been busy with, with your work and obviously all the responsibilities you have there. But I guess like once you like got rock and rolling in, in winter circle, what changes did you start to see in your life and, and career? Like, obviously you're still waiting to, to make that jump to the next job, but like, how did you feel? Like what, what things did you start to see change tangibly? So let me just say that it's not something that will change by you being passive. Your life isn't going to change by you being passive, like it, it requires immense action. Like for me, I had to push a lot, right? I had to push a lot because with my responsibilities to work, I have to fulfill those responsibilities. And that lifestyle, that nine to five work environment pushes against what I'm trying to achieve by, by joining this program. So it really takes a lot of effort. I started to see what resources I wasn't using, how my day just wasn't really optimized. Because mm -hmm. 
one of the things is once you establish a morning routine, a lot of that fog starts to clear out. You know, you, you, you know, when you wake up in the middle of the day, you're pretty foggy and, and you, you feel like garbage. Once you really uh, get down to the business and try to apply these, these, these principles of what's being taught, it, it really yeah. shows you what you yeah. can do. Yeah, absolutely. Do you feel like, obviously, you're a smart guy, like you had extensive education, like you achieved some great things in your career, even before Winter Circle, but like after implementing some of these, these things, like, do you feel like it helped you even take it to a new level? Like, do you feel like you learned some things that maybe you didn't even learn going through all the years of education that you did already? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. School, at least in computer science, won't teach you the things that you learn here. You have to go and seek those on your own. That route, if you go that route in, in colleges, focus on your hard skills, your, mm -hmm. your technical skills. How well can you code? How well can you implement this algorithm? How well can you design this, debug, mm -hmm. design that? And there's a common saying that those who are very good at coding tend not to be good at managing. And those who are good at managing tend to be kind of outdated when it comes to the code. I'd say arguably soft skills are not even arguably in some respects, they are more important than mm -hmm. your hard skills. Being able to talk yeah. to people that's, that's important. Yeah. It's important. And yeah, that's one of the things that you can figure out yourself the hard way. Right. Mm -hmm. Because eventually if you don't have those skills, the, the world will slap you in the face and you'll, you'll come to that realization or you can have someone guide you someone like a, a group of people who have paid what's called the stupid tax yeah. mm -hmm. who have gone through that and yeah and really guide you and put the social mm -hmm. pressure on you and this is a good kind yeah. of peer pressure that will mm -hmm. make you go out and get those skills because nobody wants to miss out nobody wants to be the one that's that's slacking yeah so kevin i guess talk to me about how this feels now right from where you started you know you had a job that was okay but like you just really didn't feel like you know you weren't excited about doing that for the next 30 years of your career and being stuck in that and you're seeing all these other programs out there and you're wondering what's legit what's not right to a place where you actually got the training you got the support you got the community and now you actually have a path that you can build to actually earn that freedom that you want i guess how does it feel on the other side of it right obviously we have you know made like zillions and zillions of dollars yet but how does it feel even just knowing that that opportunity is out there for you and that path is in front of you um, to build? Well, I am still working that job because, it, again, there is a responsibility there. So I wouldn't say I'm on the other side of that. I'm still in the process of getting to that point. But on the other side, in the sense that people will tell you if you're not intro, if you're not extroverted, uh, sales is going to be very difficult for you, <laughs> right? For a long time, yeah. I did I did think that was the case because I worked in a call center for for almost a year, and okay. it, it absolutely sucked. Right? <laughs> it, it was it was probably the worst job I've had. It was a university call center. I had to I had to call people, ask for donations, right? I felt like a guy on the streets of trying to panhandle. <laughs> um, like, but but the thing is, sales is not. Sales is not like that. You can absolutely have success while not being extroverted, right? While yeah. not being someone like Jim Carrey, for instance. <laughs> um, but if you take the jump and get into this program, you'll see that the system works because mm -hmm. the system, if you rely on the system and perfect the system, you don't have to be extroverted. Yeah. Well, no, Kevin, I really appreciate your input and perspective and um even though like we haven't built as far as we're going to go yet like i'm super proud of all the progress that you that you've made because like some of this stuff doesn't come natural for you right and it's the same way with some other you know people that are maybe looking at sales and sales entrepreneurship thinking like okay you know i'm not naturally extroverted i'm not the smooth talk or whatever like can can this still be a thing for me and it's not the right it's not the right path for everyone right but just because you're not naturally an extrovert doesn't mean you can't build towards those those things that you want i'm proud of the, the progress that you've made and, and built so far i guess that would kind of lead me to my last question which would be if someone was in your shoes where you were at you know a couple months ago when you were getting started with us they're a little skeptical they're a little worried can i make this work for me like what would you say to someone who's on the fence about joining winter circle i'd say evaluate how much time you have to invest into this evaluate how evaluate what and how much you're willing to sacrifice to put into this 
because you are going to have to make sacrifices. You're going to have to invest time into this. You're going to take days where you just go all in on this in order to make progress. And you can't half-ass it, otherwise you're not gonna get the results that you want. So there does have to be sacrifices, but if you're willing to make those sacrifices um, and you've done the risk assessment, you've, you've uh, really committed, right? Commit first and figure out later, then I'd say it's worth it. If nothing else, it'll show you just how much is out there, how high the ceiling is, that there is another way aside from taking the nine to five or going into academia. Yeah. Um, like coming from an Asian background, the pressure is you have to, I'm not kidding, like the pressure is there to mm. either become a professor or you, you go into uh, a field that pays well, right? Mm. Engineer, doctor, lawyer. Like you look around, how many, how many Asians or Eastern Asians do you see who are CEOs? Not that many, right? Yeah. You know, Dan Locke might be the might be one that comes to mind. <laughs> Jack Ma. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But there's a magnet, and that magnet is nine to five. Everybody just congregates to that, right? Uh, but I don't want to go off on uh, too much of a tangent. <laughs> so my point is, it, it is it is worth it. You do have to put in the effort. You have to put in the effort, and you yeah. have to go a hundred percent because you yeah. don't go hundred percent, and you're not going to get results. Yeah. Well, no, Kevin, I super appreciate your perspective and like just keeping it real with people because we we try to be super upfront with people, right? Um, this is gonna require work, right? Like this, like we we talk a big game because big things are possible of what what you can achieve, but this isn't a get rich quick thing. This isn't some overnight success thing. Um, you're gonna have to put in the work. Like it's gonna take the time and the effort. So I appreciate your perspective and just being real with people. Of like this is what it takes, right? But I think most people that are out there whatever their background is, um, you know, whether they're pressured to, to go to school and do the nine to five or not, like that's what they want. They want to be able to have the freedom and they, they're willing to work for it. Like they know that it's gonna take hard work. Um, so just giving people the truth and telling them for real, like what it is, I think it's just encouraging to, to a lot of people. So I appreciate you sharing that perspective. <laughs> cool. Well, Kevin, um, I'm super, like I said, proud of, you and the progress that you've had so far. And, and I can't wait to see what you build from here. Like you said, like you're, you're still in that journey, right? You're not like on the other side, you're not through, through the woods where you're making gobs and gobs of money yet, but you're already starting to, to see the impacts and the changes that you're making affecting kind of where you're at. And you, you know the path ahead and you have something in, in place for you. So I'm super proud of the, the progress that you made so far and, and um, kind of what you've built already, but appreciate you sharing your thoughts.